This is your brother, Brother Deshaun, coming at you one more again with another lesson. To the camps of chicken and rice in blackface, heed the warning and repent from your gay prison husband, which is Yahawashai. Was Yahawashai there to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? How about the Great Flood? Did Yahawashai bring us into this hellacious, embarrassing captivity? What are you camps thinking? I'll tell you what you are. You're nothing but parasites, freaking cowards. You cannot go heads up. You couldn't go heads up with Rap the News when he was walking amongst us, but you had to wait until the Most High called that master teacher home before like roaches. Soon as the lights go out, y'all crawl out of your little holes and shit. All oh, praise and great glory to the mighty Most High. My name is Deshaun Whitehead. I don't care what little homosexual names y'all go by. Y'all come fucking see me. Because you ain't nothing but a bunch of cowards. And I have not ever had any respect for y'all. Y'all reek of hatred. Sexual deviance. Hatred towards your sisters. And the fear of the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. That's why it was so easy for Brother Rap the News to put the spiggity spank on y'all's asses. You undercover dope dealers are no different than roaches when the lights are off. Then you want to skit, 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 scatter your little uh, shitting asses all over the place, uh, infecting everything, just like roaches. Now, Shalom. Kahlaimla Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakan Kadash All praises be to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahushai Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. And pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. And double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, Evil Men Understand Not Judgment. So here we have the Most High has cut the years of rap the news a false prophet short and call him up to the heavenly realm and this bugged out king of the simps is trying to defend a false prophet that rejects the son of the most high let's go into the word Let's go here first. We're going to go to 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David waxed 
stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. So the house of Saul is comprised of false prophets, coochie worshiping simps, bug outs, beta males, those that reject Yahushai, those that reject the Son of the Most High and reject the prophets. So they are waxing weaker and weaker. Look at Nate, Bishop Nathaniel of IUIC. He is dying. Look at Rap the News. The Most High blew out his candlelight. And now he is in the spirit world. The issues of death belong to the Most High. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Let's go from there to 1 Samuel 16, verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So they are being troubled by evil lying spirits that are deceiving them. They don't believe in the Son of the Most High. They have access to the same Bible that we have, but they are under a delusion, a spiritual veil of deception. Let's go to Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Let's read it again. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. He is an embodiment of truth. Let's go to John 14 or 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So these men are being blinded because they lack the light of the world. Let's go to John 8, verse 12. John 8, verse 12. Then spake Yehoshai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me walk not in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So they are walking in the shadow of death and darkness being deceived. Back to 1 Samuel 16, verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul 
and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. You want to sell wolf tickets when Rap the News is not here to set your asses packing. Not here to defend himself. Help me make sense of that. You effeminate turds. You are cowards. Absolute cowards. And you showing your skirts. Oh, here's a picture of GMS and all them other clowns right here. All is love. See you again. In the name of ba 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 boo ba boo ba boo ba boo boo. So the men that are going out to the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice, are cowards. Where is he? Where is this man? Where is his works? Nowhere to be found. So the king of the jungle is emotional in his feelings. And he is worshiping Rap the News, the one that the Most High cut his life short and brought him up to the spirit world. Yet this man has no works. Nobody has ever seen Rap the News face. Neither have we seen this man's face, but he is worshiping a false prophet. Let's go back. Let's see what happened to King Saul. Let's go from there. Back to 1 Samuel 16, verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So these men lack the Holy Spirit. Let's go here. Proverbs 28, verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. The house of David seeks the Lord, are meek and humble, doing the work, making our bodies a living sacrifice, are dwelling with the Holy Spirit. Let's go from there to Psalms 51, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So the house of Saul lacks the Holy Spirit because they are full of unbelief. No works, no faith. Let's go here. Wisdom of Solomon 1. Wisdom of Solomon 1. Let's go to verse 3. For forward thoughts separate from the Most High, and his power, where it is tried, reproveth the unwise. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. So the Holy Spirit departed from Saul.
1 Samuel 16, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hand so Saul was refreshed and was well and the evil spirit departed from him. So these are spirits of lies that are plaguing the false prophets. Let's go to 1 Samuel 28. Saul goes to a witch because the spirit of the Lord departed from him. And he was seeking to the soothsayers or diviners, diviners or witches. Let's keep going. First Samuel 28. Let's go to verse. We're going to go to verse 10. And Saul. Let's go to verse 9. And this is a witch that Saul is seeking. Verse 9. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul have done, how he have cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? So Saul put on a disguise. He lacks faith and lacks integrity. Lacks integrity. That's the house of Saul. Verse 10, and Saul swear to her by for the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing, for soothsaying. Verse 11, then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Saul. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with her, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. So Saul is seeking diviners, witches. Saul lost the Holy Spirit. We read, the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. So is these false prophets. They are leaning unto their own understanding and seeking to diviners, witches, Let's go back to that. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said, to Saul, 
Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and the Most High is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what shall I do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy? So the house of Saul is the enemy of the Lord. Go back to 1 Samuel 16, verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So these false prophets are being troubled, dismayed. They have no peace of mind. Go back to 1 Samuel 28, verse 16. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then thou dost ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy, and the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom of out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. So the elect of the house of David dwells within the tabernacle of the Lord, his holy house, his spiritual sanctuary, has his Holy Spirit. Verse 20, let's go to verse 18. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek, therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day, even unto this day, because the house of Saul is reincarnated back on the earth. Verse 19. There, let's, verse 19, moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. So he is going to be with the Lord. His spirit is being taken from him. Just like rap the news. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. He said, thou shall be with me and the host of Israel the two-third Israelites. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So wrap the news, the false prophet, and many two-third Israelites are going to be caught up into the spirit world. Let's read that again. 1 Samuel 28, verse 19. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shall thou and thy sons 
be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. The modern, the modern day oppressors are the Edomites. They're being stirred up as a rod of correction, a sword of the Lord to bring judgment unto the Israelites, two thirds, and their spirits are going to be caught up to be with the Lord. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. So he is bringing judgment. Verse 11 again. Let's go to verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad, like rap the news. He is bowing down in humility to the son of the most high, Amashiach, Yahweh Shai. Verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Let's go back to the video. Silly ass shit. Y'all are some clowns, man. Y'all are absolute clowns. I'm alive. Come see me. Exodus 23 13. And I'm going to cut your asses up with scripture. And in all things that I said unto you, be circumspect. Make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Why won't they ever read the scripture? These bugged out reprobate beta male simps. Let's go to Proverbs 30 and 4. Proverbs 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in his in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? The most high's name alone is excellent. But stick with me. Because we don't even know his name. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. I call him the Most High. The mighty, mighty, mighty Most High. His... That's not his name, Beta Mel Brokeback Simp. Yahweh is his name. Which means he is or he exists. And his son's name is 
Yahawashai. He says in Exodus 23, verse 20, my name is in him. Let's go back to that. Proverbs 30, verse 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended who have gathered the wind in his fists who have bound the waters in a garment who have established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell he alone is excellent his name alone is excellent. We don't know his name at this present time because of what our ancestors did to land us into this captivity. And they shall think upon my name in the land of their captivity. Let's go to Psalms 91 and 14. So this bug out said, we don't know his name. Let's go to Psalms 91 verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. I thought we didn't know his name. Let's go to Zechariah 13, verse 8 and 9. Zechariah 13. Verse 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Why is the third going to be left? Preserve the elect. Let's see. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Yahweh, the Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Case in point, Deuteronomy 28, 6, 8, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. That means our heritage for a time. <coughs> Excuse me our understanding, <clears throat> our language, and our knowing his name. Everywhere they went among the heathen. Notice talking about the Holy Land, you bug out. Let's go to Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19, let's go to verse 18. And that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. How do we swear 
go to Deuteronomy 10, verse 20. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy power, him shalt thou serve, and to him shalt thou cleave and swear by his name. So we are praising his holy name. In the ancient or paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, he is, and his son, Yahweh Shai, he is the deliverer. He profaned my holy name. He took that from us. That's why you got people guessing. You bugged out false prophets are defeated. When he brings us back into our land, we will know his name and his alone. Because of our continual degradation and mistreatment of our women. You mean to tell me that these motherfuckers are standing out on the corner 12, 16 hours a day? Well, maybe they are because half the motherfuckers got a rock full of pockets or a pocket full of rocks, excuse me, selling dope. Pocket full of phone numbers from these Nubian sisters is what they call them. Y'all are some ass clowns, man. As a man, I have no respect for any of you. Running around to and fro preaching a false doctrine. And they have really showed their skirts by attacking this man that is not here to defend himself. Roaches. Million. Yeah, a false prophet. That's the real roach. Rap the news. Tens of them coming out when the sun is down when there is no light but there's still plenty of light because we are putting y'all in your fucking place shut your jake ass up those that stole everything from you got you talking that bop ba boo ba 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 salakla salakla crap Go to Sirach 4 and 22. All right, Shalom. We're going to go to Sirach 4 and 22. He worshiped rap the news above the Most High. Sirach 4 and 22. Except no person against thy soul and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. Just like IUIC worshiping Nasty Nate that promotes false God names, false worships and rebukes or rejects the word of Bible prophecy pertaining to the chip. Let's read it again. Sirach 4 and 22. 
accept no person against thy soul and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. So he worships man over the most high. Let's go to um, Romans 3, verse 4. Let's go to verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judge. So the word of the Most High through his prophets is what we take heed to. He says, my sheep hear my voice. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying all praises be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, or Kankadash, Barakathab. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Climb Yesharala and abide the bow. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.